Hello again and welcome to Watch It Wednesday. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little purse looking, looks like a purse, a uh, gift card holder. And inside here's a little place where you can slip a gift card under there. And then here you can uh, write your message or stamp um, a happy birthday, that kind of thing. Um, you could use it for also for Christmas. You could just change the colors. And it's good for little girls or big girls. So here's what we're going to start out with. Uh, two designer series papers, top notes. Two, uh, these are early espresso top notes. Um, this was cut with the scallop oval, and that's early espresso. And then I just took a scrap and put it over the top note because um, we're just going to use a little bit of this piece. And uh, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to do on one of your top notes is score. And you want to score it at half an inch. And when I say half an inch, I'm, I don't measure this at half an inch. I measure these two points. I put those two on my half inch mark. And if you have trouble getting this to stay in place, you can put a little bit of temporary adhesive here on your... Yeah, like I'm doing here. If you have trouble, you can put some temporary adhesive there on your... Uh, trimmer and then I'll hold it in place for you. Okay, so there we go. Like this. Okay, and then on the other one we're going to cut off that same half an inch. Okay, so we're going to cut the half inch off the other piece, the other espresso top note. So that's what we have, one that's folded and one that's cut. Now on the two that are designer series paper, we're going to cut both of those, that half an inch again. And then the oval, you're just going to cut in half. Just use your scissors. And that's what's going to make our handles. And then this third one, we just need a little strip that's about an inch or so wide. So you can trim it wherever you want. Um, but I like to trim it at these points. Get my finger out of the way, maybe. trim some, you know, you can trim maybe three quarters of an inch off the bottom then. And then all you need is this little strip. Okay. Alright, so here are our pieces. The first thing we need to do then is uh, get these two pieces together so that you have basically a little folder. So I'm going to use some sticky strip. Make sure you all can see here. Like this. And then we're just going to put it uh, on here. All right, so now on the inside then, we're going to take our other little piece, this one that we made just an inch or so, and use some more sticky strip and just put that on the ends. Like this. And attach this and it'll make the pocket. Now, when I did this one, um, well, I guess you really can't see it, so it doesn't matter. I was going to say, is this part, this extra part that's folded over, you'll want to, I would suggest putting it under this vanilla here so that nobody sees it. But you really can't see it either way. Okay. So, 
now we have a little pocket to go in there. Uh, the next thing we want to do is put on our handles. And for this, I just use some regular snail adhesive. And basically, I just use that first scallop and put that down. Whoops, a little crooked there. Like that. And then we're going to repeat for the other side. And for this one, I line up the second one with the first one, and wherever that happens to stick is where it sticks. Like that. Okay, so now we've got the basics here. Next, to add the pattern paper to the outside, um, when you cut a top note, you'll notice that there's that little stitch line that goes all the way around. You're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut on that stitch line. So here you can see what I cut off. And you're going to do that for both of your top notes. Now, before you put your top note on here, the, um, the designer paper on here, go ahead and put the brad through because if not, then you end up seeing this in here and it doesn't look very pretty. So, and I thought it would actually look nice too to add a little piece of, this is a Marina Mist, a three quarter inch circle on here beforehand to give it a little background to the button. Well, it's actually a brad, but it's supposed to look like a button or a closure. Um, and then we're just going to take our hole piercer and poke a hole in the middle. And then these antique brads are perfect for this. You can pick whichever one you want. And they all look really good. This is where you can really tell if you didn't get it very centered. So take your time on that. Okay, so once we have the button on there, or brad in this case, then you're just going to add some adhesive. And I think for this top part, I'm just going to put a little piece of sticky strip to hold where that brad is so it doesn't come undone. Okay. And then think about which part you want to be your front. And this is the part that I want to be the front. So then you just line it up with that stitch line. And then your top note has this nice um, border on it. And then you're going to do the same thing for the back. Again, you're going to trim this off and then put it on right here. Okay, now for the inside, all I did then again was cut a very vanilla top note and cut off the, or rather cut off just over half an inch at the bottom. Then trim off that border on the stitch line and then adhere it right here. Then you have a nice little gift card holder and if you want it to stay closed you could put either a magnet or um, or a piece of velcro right there but I think this is adorable to give a little gift card and again would be really cute for Easter a birthday or um, you know you could make it Christmassy and use it for a Christmas gift card so I hope you enjoy get lots of them made and ready ahead of time see you next week